Appreciate you taking a couple minutes here as we get ready for this bowl game. But uh, really want to start with with something that that has just happened, and you really haven't had much time with the kid. But can lightning strike twice? And what I mean is, you go to the portal, and to me, you look at Brock, and he's the exact same player Will Levis was coming out of Penn State. Mm, very similar. There, there's a lot of similarities there. Um, high quality, high character kid. Graduated, you know, from from Georgia in three years. Um, very similar builds as well, and uh, somebody that just really hasn't had an opportunity quite yet. That's talented, has a lot of tools. We've heard great things about, um, just hasn't had the opportunity to play yet. And, and so that was more the route we were looking for, somebody with a couple of years that we could truly invest in and that could also come into our program and make an impact a little bit longer on. He's the future, but let's talk about the present because you still have one game left, and it's obviously the bowl game tomorrow. So when you look at a guy like Devin Leary, he's played against Clemson. Yep. He knows them. Yep. He's one and two. He didn't have to play in this game. Right. What was your conversations with him like, and, and why why does he want that one more chance? Uh, it, it was pretty short and sweet. He wanted to do this, um, you know, all along. There was never any wavering. Um, you know, he, he wants to finish what he started and, and play against the team that he's played against. Right? He has a lot of familiarity with this team, um, and, and he hasn't ever played in a bowl game. You also get Ray and Jutan, so yeah. you'll have a full complement in the backfield as well. So will there be any differences in the way you run things that we saw all season long? Probably not. I mean, you're just trying to finish what you started. Obviously, we want to execute and play at a higher level. Uh, coming off, obviously, a, you know, a good solid 31-point output, output against Louisville. Um, you know, that's something we want to build off of. Wasn't perfect by any means, but uh, for us to come out, finish the season the right way, uh, that's what we're looking to do. And then really once the season, the off season hits, evaluate, really dig into the system, dig into the players. How do we want to do things moving forward? But as we go into this bowl game, we really just want to finish off what we started. Talk about Clemson for just a second. Kind of an off year for them. They only won eight games, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. they've got a ton of NFL talent. Oh, yeah. You really don't know who's going to play, who's not. Right. They say it could be up to eight starters not playing, but Beside the point, yeah. they're big, they're strong, they're very physical at their top, at front seven, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, it's obviously one of the top ten defense in the country. Um, they're extremely violent and fast in, in the front seven. Um, we're, we're, we're kind of thankful Trotter's not playing and a few of the really good players, but they've got a lot of them. They, they've done a great job recruiting, developing some of that the, the front seven. Uh, in the back end, they've got a few guys supposedly not playing. Uh, one's opting out, one's in the portal. So um, it, it's definitely one of those things you don't truly know what you're going to get, but their scheme is their scheme, their system is their system, and they count on their front seven to cause uh, a lot of havoc both in the run and in the pass game. They're kind of an outlier in the fact that they're, to me, they're more of an NFL style team where they're going to run man a lot, right? Because they think they can get so much pressure that it's not going to give them time to do those double routes and rub routes and things, yeah, right? That is the exact plan. I mean, that is who they are. That's their identity. They're a, a five-man, six-man rush, cover one team, uh, which which is difficult at times. But if you can get the ball off, if you can hang on to the ball a little bit, protect at a high level and win on the perimeter, uh, that has to be the goal. That has to be our standard. They do a great job uh, creating havoc with the turnovers. They've Got double-digit turnovers in the interceptions, double-digit forced fumbles, and 30 sacks on the year. So um, they've done a nice job, like you say, creating havoc with the front seven while also uh, playing grab. You know, grab a little bit at the in the back end. They'll grab you the whole jib. They do a good job playing man coverage. All right, I, I have to ask you about the transfer portal because it's 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 taken away, but it's also given. Yeah. Two quarterbacks coming in, a running back from a, a huge school in Ohio State where he was part of the trio that that ran there and a couple of wide receivers. It's been good to you so far. Yeah, it has. I mean, it's a. this is the landscape, and I don't know how, if it's going anywhere. So first and foremost, we did a pretty good job of keeping guys in the program that uh, maybe we're looking elsewhere, that we're maybe looking for another opportunity that we were able to get back, and that was important because we've invested time, development into those players. So we were able to get some of those guys back that we were really trying to, trying to get back. And then you go into the portal to find some some depth, some immediate starters, some plug and play players. Uh, it's definitely been good to us. Two more questions for I'm assume you were you and Mark had a lot to do with who brought you brought in as the receivers coach. Yeah. 
he's here. Will he coach in the bowl game? Or are you no. just getting familiar with everybody? Right? Yeah, just getting familiar. Um, you know, trying to get him with some of the players to meet some of those guys, just to evaluate the, the building, evaluate the schedule, and He's just kind of start on what he has to do, right? Exactly. It's not fair for him, for us to ask him to come in and coach right now. Um, that's probably, uh, you know, we really want to make sure once this bowl game's done and we head into this offseason that he has a fresh start and he can really kind of set the standards of that room, the expectations, and, and that'll be the situation moving forward. And finally, Mark talks about this all the time in the offseason, the importance of winning the bowl game to you. Huge, huge. I mean, you you come off of a really uh, important victory against your rival in the last game of the year, uh, but this is a huge one. I mean, we're really playing an SEC football team. Now, let's let's be real. I mean, this is, this is like any other game that we play each week of the season. That's how important it is. That's the level and standard at which we're going to have to play to. Um, they've been a very successful program. They've done it at a high level for a long time. They recruit very well, obviously. So this is a huge one for us to be able to go in. It, we want to go have a great time. It's a great experience, but uh, we, we need to go win this football game. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.